Good afternoon folks and welcome back to Help I Bought a Farm for Farming Simulator 22. Today's episode is going to be a, hopefully a short video on uh, grapes. Um, so in the video we're going to show you how you can plant the grapes, um, how to harvest the grapes, how to care for the grapes and what we can do with the grapes after they've been harvested. Now you'll notice I've got quite a lot of equipment sitting here. Uh, no, don't worry. You don't need all this equipment. I've just brought it down here so I can I can show you how to use it if you don't know already. Uh, so let's crack on first of all with uh, the planting of the grapes. And you can see I've got some here already. They're ready to harvest. So we'll get to that in a minute. So you press P and open up your uh, construction. And if you go to production, orchards, and you've got your olives and your grapevine right here so I'll just start at the opposite end and it's great that it just kind of snaps into position for you can basically put this any way you like but I'm going to take it in line with what's already here does that look straight straight enough so once you've got your first one set all you really need to do is you can you can do a brand new line if you want press uh, if you if you don't want to put it there just press the right mouse button I'll take it away but uh, to to plant your next line it it just automatically kind of snaps into position uh, left mouse to select it drag it down and again you I can't I can't move it anywhere only adjust the length. Again, it snaps into position. And you get your perfectly straight lines. I'll do one more. I don't actually intend on leaving these grapes here. But I'll put them somewhere else. This is just my test field. Alright. So now we have our grapes planted. Uh, the next thing would be to care for the field. Uh, however, at the moment... We don't really need to care for it till they start growing. So here's some I prepared earlier. And they are growing and they're ready to harvest. You can see we've got what well, it looks like it's weeds, but it's not actually weeds, it's just it's just grass. Because we can't get in there with uh, any sort of mower or, or, or weeder. So how do we harvest them? Well, we've got a bunch of equipment here. Uh, some of it's base game, some of it, this yellow equipment here, that comes from the Ox, Oxo or Oxbow uh, DLC. So your base game equipment, if you press P and go to the store. And over to grape technology. Uh, if at any point you, you're unsure what equipment you need for your, your grapes, you just click on this box, open box here on the left, and it gets you your packs. And you go to grapes and you can see everything that we need. Uh, right, so let's look at harvesting. And the, the suggested one here is the New Holland. Well, I'll go back because I'm going to have a look at the grape technology. So there's three different versions. This one, Oxbow Pack, that's it. There we are. So there's two versions in the Euro Grape Liner series. I don't know if this is actually base game or not. It could be. So this one's definitely base game, this one could be base game. Um, different sizes. This one has a storage capacity uh, 3,100 litres, and this one's storage capacity uh, up to 3,000 litres. Uh, these are sl slightly different in operation. I'll show you how to use them. Uh, and then the one from the Oxbow uh, DLC up to 3,400 litres. So let's first of all take a look at the, the New Holland uh, is it called the broad in 9070 <coughs> L here we are <coughs> excuse me so just like any other harvester X to unfold it and B to turn it on and all we want to do is line up the center of the harvester you see here this kind of bladed section this is what's going to prune the 
the grapes from the vine. Uh, now unfortunately we can't use the AI to do this for us, we have to drive it ourselves. Uh, you can't destroy the grapevine, you just get stuck if you're, if you're not exactly straight. And this harvester here is quite similar, if not the same, as the, uh, the harvester for the olives. So it's pruning the grapes from the vine and at the back here you can see the leaves and the twigs and stuff like that getting expelled onto the ground. And then to unload, just like the olive one, you reverse up to your trailer, press I to unload your grapes into the trailer. Now this trailer is a specific trailer specific to uh, grapes. Uh, if you look in your uh, your tools here, if you go into trailers, there is not a single trailer capable of storing grapes. So we have to go to our is it grape technology miscellaneous. Oh yeah, it's grape technology. Uh, yeah, so grape technology, and we've got three different trailers specifically for grapes. Smaller one, six cubic meter volume. Uh, a middle sized one for it's got a twelve cubic meter volume. Uh, you can choose with this one if you want a ladder uh, and or a cover. I've got the cover on mine. And then the larger 14.5 cubic metre volume doesn't come with a cover. A must have if you're going to be a grape farmer. Let's just move this out of the way and we'll have a look at the uh, the other um, harvester because it, it, it's slightly different. Operates the same but you unload it differently. So there we go, if we go back to our grape technology, we're now going to look at this uh, Grape Liner Series 7000. Should be available in the uh, base game. Same as the other one, unfold it with X, press B to switch it on. Oh, to wait for it to unfold first. Press B to switch it on. Same again, we just line it up in the centre. The thing I like about the grapes, um, much like the olives, once they've been planted you don't need to plant them again, they'll grow back every year. Or every every few months, pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, I think it takes around five months for them to grow back. Let's take a look, uh, let's change the options, put the seasonal growth on and that will allow us to access this calendar here. You've got, here's your grapes there, so the latest we can plant them is May. And the latest we can harvest them is October. So one, two, three, four, yeah, five months. Brings us into October. Uh, so we can harvest our grapes every five months. But there is a bit of uh, care we need to do with the grapes to allow us to do that. Um, and I'll, I will show you how to, how to do that. So when it comes to unloading this harvester, uh, it's very slightly different because if you notice, there's a section on the side, on the right hand side here, looks suspiciously like the trailer. So with this one here we just bring it up as close as we can onto the right hand side and I to unload and it unfolds this side section here. <coughs> Now my favourite brings us to this harvester from the Oxbow expansion. There's three different configurations. Unfortunately you can't have all three configurations in one. Um, let's have a look at the store. Grape technology, Oxbow. Okay, so the first configuration is just a simple harvester. Much the same as the harvesters that we just previously used. 
setting configuration, we have the overloading harvester, which has got this yeah, conveyor belt attached to the side. And the third configuration, the multi-row sprayer, which we'll cover in just a few minutes. So in the first instance, we've got the, uh, this is the normal configuration for the harvester. Same as the other harvester, X to unfold. And B to turn it on, and then just line it up in the center. And just like the first harvester that we used, we reverse this up against the trailer to unload. Obviously didn't have a lot of grapes there. <clears throat> now, now just before we get into these other two configurations, there's one more thing we need to do uh, before the grapes will start growing back. And that is we have to wait one month. So I'll just fast travel to my home. And I'll wait a month. Okay. There we have it. So now we can see the grapes that I've harvested have turned this lovely golden yellow colour. Now they won't grow back yet until we've pruned them. The pruner you see attached to the back of the tractor here can be found in the store uh, and uh, grape technology and there's the pruner right there additionally we can use the packs go into grapes and you'll see the pruner there now the default position is lowered but we need it raised press v to raise it uh, x to unfold b to turn it on and we're basically just going to drive down here. See, it's kind of oh, I'm going to crash. It's kind of offset to the side. It can be a bit fiddly. And you just drive along and have it bring the dead leaves. Off your grapevines. So, uh. Next up, I'm not actually going to use it, but that's why I hate this one. Uh, so this is just the same as a, another grape harvester, only this one. You really need two people to operate it because it's got this conveyor belt at the side. You can't use the AI to do this for you, so you have to do it yourself. Uh, and then you would need to use your small tractor and drag a trailer along uh, in order for these grapes to be unloaded. It's, it's an absolute pain, so I'm not going to bother using this one, um, but you get the idea. If you like doing the multiplayer online play, then it might be something to get involved with. Um, but it's, it's not for me. I, I, it's, it's, just, it's too much effort. Uh, so, next, we're going to have to wait a bit longer. So, ideally, we want to start, start caring for this... Uh, the soil and the and the grapevines, but we're gonna have to wait another month until these ones come back through before we carry on with that. So I'll fast travel to home again. I'm just gonna wait one more month. And there we see the two rows that I pruned are coming back through nicely and the row that I didn't prune, well, has they not started growing back? Right, 
So what do we do next? Next we have to then look after the soil. And uh, we need a small tractor for this again. Perfect size to fit, fit between the the, uh, the grapevines. Uh, these tractors can be found in the store under your small tractors. Uh, only some of them, see this one here does, uh, this tractor suits perfectly for uh, grape and olive farming. So does this one. Um, I've got I've got loads of small tractors here. I've got different expansions. The small tractor works. These ones don't. So I'll, I'll tell you what tractor you can use with, uh, for your grapes and for your olives. Uh, which one did I get? I think it was this Fendit one here. Yeah, it's the one I'm using. I use this one because it's got up to uh, 114 horsepower. I just like that extra. Well, you can vary the engine size in that one. But the other ones are pretty much set in stone. Oh no, this one here can go up to 112 horsepower. That one there's set 75 horsepower. It's pretty cool. That looks like a snowmobile. Oh, fold it. Right. So next we have to look after the soil. It's not 100% necessary. Um, to do this, it, it will help increase the yield, but you can get away with not doing it. So this is a mulcher used just to mulch the soil, or mulch the the loose vegetation uh, on the ground, and then we use the uh, the cultivator to cultivate the soil, ready for the next planting. Although we're not really planting anything, so we can operate both these at the same time. Which is great. Saves a bit of time. So press G to switch to the to the mulcher on the front and B to turn it on. G switch me back. And if I press on PC if I press control and then V, it should lower both tools at the same time. Yeah, there we go. And then all you do is drive forward, mulch, and cultivate the soil. Again, not completely necessary, but it does help increase uh, how much harvest you get. Just do that one just to show you how it's done. I'm going to raise these. There we go. Now, last but not least, we're going to look at herbicides and fertilizer. So, I'll get rid of this equipment. So here is our sprayer here, it's the only one that works with grapes and um, and olives. Uh, if you're unsure which one to get, just again go into packs, grapes, I should show you there. Uh, if you look for it in the tools section, is it in grape technology? Yeah, it's in grape technology, there it's there. So at the minute I've got it loaded up with a fertiliser but you can uh, unload it and load it just like any other trailer. Uh, get close enough, press R and it will fill it up. So that will take the fertiliser and, uh, and herbicide, obviously not at the same time. Uh, and then to fertilise you just drive between your your great vines, press B to switch it on. Uh, there's one more tool that I haven't shown you yet. Uh, it's part of the Oxbow expansion, which I find it really handy. Um, because if you if you intend to, to have a lot of grapes, now you can do a lot with grapes. Um, grapes can earn you quite a bit of money. Let's take a look at, first of all, what we can do with the grapes. So, oops, button. Uh, 
anyway, yeah. grapes. So if you look at the, the 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 price of the grapes, the fast food restaurants buying them at the moment for one thousand three hundred and seventy seven dollars per thousand liters, uh, which is which is quite impressive. Uh, the best time to sell them, of course, is in May. We can also sell them to Goldcrest Valley, in the grocer mart. Uh, the gross uh, Goldcrest Valley requires you to load the train, uh, and I've got a video to show you how you can do that if you're interested. We can also sell them to the grape processing unit, but not only sell them, we can own a grape processing unit. Uh, there's actually one on this this map. Elm Creek should be. Yeah, there it is there. So we can buy the grape processing unit and that will let us make grape juice. Which can then also be sold to various places. Where's the grape juice? There we are, grape juice. Uh, again, we can sell it to loads and loads of places, make loads of money. So if you want to make the grape juice as a, a side business, you can make even more money. Uh, obviously selling the grape juice in February. It's probably going to be your best option. Right, so last but not least is going to be the final tool from the Oxbow expansion, or Oxbow DLC. And that's this bad boy here, which is like a multi-lane uh, spreader. Now you can put either fertilizer or herbicide in this. That is a herbicide there. And there's some I prepared earlier. Again, to fill it, you just get close enough. And press R. Oh, I'm getting the herbicide. I wanted the fertilizer. Why would it take that one when I'm closer to the other one? I mean, let's unload this. There we go, fertilizer. There must be a mod to make wine. You'd be a wine connoisseur. I just have a, a giant vineyard making grape juice and wine this could be your your entrepreneurial business in farming simulator 22 okay so I, ideally you just want to line up uh so this will do multiple multiple rows oh what am i doing line up one of the uh the rows of uh, grape vines in the center of your your spreader there uh, and then just B to turn it on much easier than using that smaller version there if you've got if you've got loads of grapes that is it might be worth getting this oh I'm getting stuck <coughs> Uh, in terms of storage for your grapes, much like the you know, olives, potatoes, carrots, there's not a lot of base game and uh, in-game content to store your, your grapes. Uh, so you really just want to harvest them and sell them. However, we can store them in the grain pool east. The screen pool holds everything. Uh, easy access to load up the train if you want to sell them to Goldcrest Valley. Or you can come back and get them at a later date and sell them to one of the the local stores. Uh, one thing I did forget to add is how to remove your grape vines. Um, so, just in case you decide you don't 
want your grapes to be in this location, uh, you're going to move them maybe somewhere else. The only way you can remove them is the same as the olives. So you go into construction and just hit the demolish button. And where are we? There. Left click mouse, not delete them in threes. Um, you can hold in the left mouse button and just kind of use it like an eraser tool. Now, unfortunately, now your your field is ruined. Um, but you can just use a, a plow to to remake that field. The beauty about the grapes is that you don't actually need to ruin field to plant them. Um, production orchards grapes. So no field here. I can just plant plant my grapes here if I wish. So I, I completely didn't need to ruin this field. I just did it for convenience because the house is there and yeah, quite close to the store. Okay then folks, that should be everything now. Uh, if I have missed anything else, just leave me a comment and I'll I'll get back I'll get back to you. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying this long if you're still here. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will really help me out massively. Help help me build this channel. But until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.